Hello again and welcome. A little while ago I went down to visit Simon Hope for the day at Hope Woodturning Headquarters in Essex here in the UK and I was absolutely blown away. Over the last three or four years, which is about the last time I went to visit him in actual fact, he has spent a lot of effort and time and development and indeed investment in this side of his business resulting in a really well-stocked showroom and a state-of-the-art, well-equipped teaching or schoolroom. And a lot of people, I think, associate Simon just with Stratos lathes and indeed his wide range of tools, but he offers so much more. So rather than go through it verbally, I thought I'd take my camera down there and I do a little video tour for you to give you an insight into the massive amount of stuff that Simon actually does offer. So sit back and enjoy. And here we are at the Hope Woodturning headquarters and we're going inside to have a look around. So this is the distribution centre of Simon Hope wood turning and upstairs to more storage. Now this door here leads into the Aladdin's cave. A simply packed room with every conceivable accessory that you should wish to have. We'll start off with the lathes. There's a Laguna. One way, because Simon of course is now an agent for both Laguna, One Way, Vicmark and of course KS. And then we move over to the FU230 and the big daddy of them, the Stratos XL. There's also a MIDI Pro on display and on the floor, not wanted to make you too sick, we even have the Nova Comet. And then we go over to the Vicmarks. There are three Vicmarks on display in the showroom as well as a Laguna bandsaw. And if we go to this end you can see the Paul Howard rotor jig for fluting, also the sphere jig and a range of Hampshire Sheen finishes and colours and waxes. Good complement of CA glue. We've got the one way accessories for the Wolverine various accessories there, various jaws and chucks available from both Nova and Vicmark and of course the all important complete range of tools that Simon offers and has developed himself in a lot of cases. And then we come back over here and we have more accessories And on the final wall, some of the German finishes and oils and waxes. And then the all important abrasives, a full range of abrasives from both Sait, we have Abranet and Indasa. And there are some kits available as well, which work out to be a little bit more economical than buying separately. So a full range of abrasives in both disc and sheet form. And really and truly everything that you should need. An absolute treasure trove. And now we're going to go over to the training room which is newly built and I'll see you over there. 
And just over the road from the distribution area is the schoolroom of Hope Returning. This is the teaching room, really well appointed, a lovely bright environment to work in. There are a total of five lathes in the teaching room. There's a Vic mark next to the floor standing pillar drill. Then you have a twister, a one way, an FU230 and another Vic mark. So there are five lathes here for the students. Each station has a full complement of tools. and measuring equipment, adequate air filtration and each lathe has its own dust extraction and then here we have the sharpening station where there is a Vicmark top of the range piece of kit with two CBN wheels and then you have the KS slow speed grinder with a one-way system and again two CBN wheels. So basically everything the student would wish to have and through that door there there are toilet facilities and a little restroom with a table and chairs to sit and have your lunch or discuss the activities of the day you've just had. And it's worthwhile mentioning that Mick Handry, who is a world-renowned turner, is the guy that gives the lessons, a really great guy, very approachable and has a really relaxed teaching method. So, well I hope you enjoyed that little video tour of Hope Woodturning Headquarters. If you have any questions whatsoever just get in touch with Simon directly via either email or his phone numbers which are on his website and there's a link to his website in the description below and he will be more than happy to answer those questions for you. He is a very approachable guy and has a wealth of experience in wood turning. He has been turning since he's 11 and that might be 60 odd years now. However, get in touch with Simon and he'll put you right. On a final note, when you go visiting any showroom or indeed to a show, it's very difficult to come back empty handed. So I came back with the new set of uh, tool rests, round stainless steel tool rests that Simon now offers. And also I decided to do a bit of haggling and I came away with a bench grinder and two CBN wheels. Shock horror. Now I'm not knocking the Sorby, it's a brilliant bit of kit and I will continue to use it. But there are certain things which you can't do on the Sorby that you can do on a grinder. However, that's going to be the subject of another video. So I'll see you then on that and I'll be doing a full review of both the grinder, the CBN wheels and the setup of the Wolverine and indeed of these really good stainless steel round bar tool rests. In the meantime, thank you very much indeed for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you very soon. Cheers now.